Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I'm going to be showing you this instrument that I built for the Great Cigar Box Guitar Builder Swap Off Spring 2021. And the person I built for was a person by the name of Rick Hunt. And Rick is a Christian uh, singer and is the member of a singing group. And uh, this is uh, a logo from one of their albums. And so uh, I made this instrument uh, for him. So uh, given that he's a Christian singer, I tried to have uh, certain things related to uh, Christian singing uh, showcased in this build. So uh, for starters here, you can see from the sound hole, I have um, a cross um, on the sound hole. And also inside there, I have a spring, which I'll show you in a minute. But let's go ahead and start by looking at the headstock here. Uh, the headstock, my vision was building this um, sort of like the prow of a boat, uh, given that Christ at one point was a, a fisherman in his travels. So that's what that's there for. And hopefully these tuners also represent like the Holy Trinity. You can see here that I have an oak uh, neck and headstock with these little mahogany wings on it. Um, I have a string spacer here that's just made of the wood from the inside of a cigar box. I have a zero fret, and this fretboard is made of wengi, and the position markers here on the fretboard are made from uh, Phillips head screws, and I also have position markers here on the side of the neck, which are just little white uh, plastic dowels. Again, this is an oak neck, and you can see I have a tapered shape to it here. And I do have a cap on the heel that is also wangy. And you can see there's some dark area here on the neck. This oak apparently had some spalting going on, and so it's got a little dark feature there in the neck as well. Again, this is a through body design, uh, and this is a Principal Guitars Aviator Series box. And again, keeping in the sort of Christian sort of theme, if you take a, a plane and kind of turn it, uh, you know, nose up, it looks like a cross. And also you can see this particular instrument has two sets of uh, propellers. Again, the three pointed propellers, also representative of the Trinity. Again, this is Rick Hunt's logo, and I'll leave in the comments uh, links to um, some of his music so you can get to, to check that out. Um, the bridge on this is a bridge, I think you can see that there, that I made. Uh, it was just made of poplar with a fret set into the top of it. Um, when I first uh, set this up, um, the action was about two millimeters and I was getting some string rattle being that low. So I came back and I put a couple of little feet on this of Wengi to bring it up. The action is now 3.5 millimeters and I'm not having string rattle um, there with that. You can see I do have a jack in this because I have a piezo that is hot glued to the underside of the soundboard. And you can see I have a tailpiece here, and this tailpiece was part of a cabinet hinge. I basically just cut the hinge off, and I just, uh, just put the strings through three holes that I drilled into uh, that thing there. Uh, as I mentioned, on the back side of this, I have this uh, logo associated with this group that uh, Rick belongs to. And on the, the uh, player side, I also have his personal logo and the, this uh, fish symbol, which is also associated with uh, Christianity. So, uh, oh, another feature I should talk about is here on the side of the box, you can see that there's some space between the side of the box and the lid. Uh, that is to say, it wasn't like attached tightly there, and I was concerned about getting some rattle from that or some buzzing because it was almost touching. So I put, uh, hopefully you can see this, I put some spacers in here along the side of it that would uh, purposely keep the lid lifted off of that side. And so essentially this is a long, narrow sound hole for sound to come toward the player. And I was actually quite pleased at how well this turned out acoustically. And 
I should say I strung this with the um, A, D, and G strings from a uh, Ernie Ball uh, Slunky package, and I'll put the package up there for you. So again, this is tuned to EDG, and it actually projects pretty well, and I think that's because this is a pretty big box. Even though it has an MDF lid, I think that size just really helps it uh, put that sound out there. So let me give you a quick sound sample here, um, acoustically, and then I'll plug it in, and we'll get the, uh, the uh, electric version. Alrighty, I've got this plugged in now so we can hear this acoustically. And again, this has a piezo. And um, I do have a spring on the inside. There you have it, my spring 2021 Cigar Boss Guitar build for the great Cigar Boss Guitar Builder Swap Off. Rick, I hope you like it. Folks, thanks for watching.